At UCT, I'm not sure about other universities, but computer science is found in three different faculties. The Faculty of Commerce, Science and Humanities. What truly is the big deal about computer science such that it is found in three different faculties? Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Abungile Ngoya and in this week's video we'll discuss what is the difference between the computer sciences that are found in different faculties. If you like the sound of that, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below. But for now, let's get into it. About the computer science that are found in these three different faculties is that we all do the same computer science we all attend the same lecture we are all taught by the same lecturer we all write the same exam at the same time we're just literally doing the same thing now the catch is it is the difference is not between the computer science but the difference is outside computer science what do I mean We'll be discussing the difference between the entry requirements, between the duration of the degree, modules taken in first year, and also we'll discuss what degree you graduate with. So without any further ado now, let's get into it. The first difference is the entry requirements that are required um, to have been obtained by a student applying in these three different faculties. I'll just put the sheet here so that you guys can read along with me. Guaranteed admission to science faculty, you need 70% or above in mathematics, you need 60% or above in physical science. Now, one thing I need to know about physical science that is that it can be replaced with information technology, which is IT, only and if only you did not take physical science. What do I mean? I mean that, let's say for example in that school, you are allowed to take in physical science and information technology at the same time. If, for example, you did get your 70% in mathematics, but you got 50% for physical science, but you got 60% for um, information technology, they are going to consider your physical science marks because you did take physical science. But for someone else who took information technology and mathematics with no physics they're only just going to take the information technology um, marks which needs to be 60 percent as well and you need to have passed your nbts guaranteed admission to commerce faculty you need 70 percent in mathematics if you did english home language it needs to be 50 percent if you did english first additional language it needs to be 60 percent and you need to have passed your NPT. <sighs> now this is where I made a huge mistake in one of my previous video. The link is here. <sighs> now let's first discuss how does a computer science, how does the computer science become even a humanities major or your degree becomes a humanities major when you majoring in computer science. Let me um, let me explain. Okay, so it starts like this. You are majoring in a science major, but you are also majoring in a humanities major. So your second major is a humanities major, but your first major is um, a science major. If you do that, your degree becomes a humanities major. Right. However, if you take a science um, major, the entry requirements need to meet the standards that are set by the faculty of science right so you took a computer science major it needs to meet exactly the the what the the requirements that are needed there that you need to have obtained 60 percent in math 70 percent in mathematics and also physics 60 percent or information technology so what mistake did i make I said yes you can take mathematics literacy and still pursue computer science. The reason why I made this mistake is because I heard somebody who was majoring in computer science in the humanities faculties. So in my mind automatically I was like ha huh, then you can most you can just um, do um, 
excuse me, then you can just do mathematics, literacy, and um, and still major in computer science. But no, it needs to go in line with the requirements that are stated in the science faculty. Then, of course, your second major, which can be psychology or film, that are found in the humanities major, they need to also meet the requirements that are stated by the department of um, psychology or film that are in the undergraduate perspective that I've linked down below. I hope guys I make sense and I do admit to my mistake and I hope the person who asked that question on my comment section actually watches this video and I'm sorry but no I don't think you can study um, computer science when you have done mathematics literacy. The second difference that I do want to discuss are the modules that are taken in first year in these three different faculties. Now, let's start with the science faculty. I'm in the science faculty, right? So I took computer science and business computing. In the science faculty, it does depend on your second major. So since I took business computing, my modules were computer science. I did computer science for this, for two semesters. I did computer science 1015 and computer science 1016. I did accounting for two um, semesters. I did accounting um, 1006 and I also did accounting 1012. Um, I did web power as an elective, which is another difference because in other faculties, you don't get to choose, um, sorry, in commerce faculty, you don't get to choose an elective. I'll discuss what, what, how do you, how, how it happens, but in the humanities faculty, I believe you do choose electives. Anyway, and also we, I also took mathematics for both semesters. I took statistics. So these were my subjects in first and second semester or modules in first and second semester. In the commerce faculty, it is a structured degree. You don't choose first major or second major. It's just if you choose business um, business science then you bachelor of business science then you're gonna go with this route right so what modules did they take they took accounting statistics mathematics computer science business ethics business law just everything that we did just more adding economics and business law right whereas with the humanities faculty they chose um, computer science they do the computer science majors that I also did but they also majoring in their own humanities, um, humanities, um, humanities major. So either you're majoring in film, then you're going to do majors, sorry, you're going to do modules that film requires, right? Or psychology requires. Another difference between um, the computer sciences that are found in different um, faculty is the duration of the degree. Well, for humanities and science, your degree is only three years, while for commerce, it's only for four years. Now, with commerce, you graduate with honors, right? But you need to qualify for honors, but you graduate with honors, even though it's a one degree, but you, if you go back to school again, you'll be doing a master's, not your honors. So, yes. Yeah, so that's one of the things, benefits about doing computer science in the commerce faculty is that you graduate with honors. I graduate with honors, I think. Is that I got? But anyways, now moving on to the fourth difference, which is what you graduate with. So when they call their name, when they call your name up there on stage, your degree is going to be Bachelor of Science if you did computer science in the science faculty. If you did um, computer science in the commerce faculty, then you're going to graduate with Bachelor of Business Science. And if you did um, computer science in the humanities faculty, then it's going to be a degree in social science, Bachelor of Social Science. I hope you guys understand now what are the differences between the computer science that are found in three different faculties. And also, I hope I've answered many of the questions that you guys asked about um, mathematics literacy about if I could study this and that and I really hope you forgive me for the mistake that I've made it was ignorance and but I do also hope that you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful and I do hope to see you on the next one bye honey